Simon Kemp, front of house engineer for Ed Sheeran. It's been relatively smooth, yeah. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a big learning curve. There's a lot to learn. It's a much more complicated show than it sounds, you know, a guy and a guitar. So, um, yeah, it's been a lot to work out, how all the loops are built, how everything kind of starts as a very simple thing and gets built and built and built and bigger and making things flow and uh, sonically. So it's it's been really good. Chris has been great. Chris has stuck with me, but also just let me kind of get on with it to a certain extent, which has been nice. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been fun, but, but challenging, I would say, yeah. It's, uh, it's still, it's still a stereo image, you know, like it, it, the whole thing is divided into stereo hangs. So imaging wise, it's almost the same as an end on show, you know, like you're still wherever you are, there is a stereo image somewhere. So it's, it really is treated the same, but on a much bigger scale and many more hangs and different arrival times of things and stuff. So, but it, but it's really similar. Honestly, it's not, we don't treat it any differently, particularly it's, it's still a stereo mix. Outboard effects are, we have max waves, BCL for some low end enhancement. We have some Procasti reverbs, which don't get to be used very often. Don't really need them here. Um, other than that, everything's pretty much on board the console. So it's a lot of spice rack stuff on the Digicos. Um, and yeah, on built compression and effects. So it's, it's most of the show is on the console. Um, the lovely thing about Ed is he doesn't want anything changed. His mix has been the same for, I mean, predates me and i don't know how far you would go back with that but he just wants consistency he just wants it to sound the same every single show he doesn't want anything tweaked he definitely goes for the consistency and knowing where i'm at approach rather than a beautiful kind of mix of you know spatial imaging and whatever it is it's it's just this is why i want leave it alone so that side of it's great we the only thing we change is when guests come and we put some guests and stuff in this mix but on the whole it's left alone, so it's quite. And then there's a there's now a monitor engineer for the band to take care of all the bands because that was becoming a bit much to do everything. So now there's a monitor engineer who looks after the five in the bands and guest artists and anyone else that comes along. So yeah, uh, the best thing for me about mix of the show is it's completely different to any other show out there. There is no there's no rule book. There's no, this is what you do with drums, this is what you don't do with drums, this is what you do with guitars, this is what you do with vocals. It's completely different and really at your own discretion and to make it how you want to make it. Carrying on from what Chris has done, which him and Ed have built this thing over 10 years. So taking that and then running with it and improving if we can, when we can, or keeping it the same way we can, you know, it's, it really is a really interesting show and fun show to, to jump on a desk and mix and build loops and you 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 kind of feel like you're with Ed on that you kind of feel like you work together on that it feels like it's almost like a partnership don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos just like this